and welcome to Elite Predator TV's Chase and Phantoms and this is the how we do it segment now what we're going to do today is implement a food plot by Invite Extreme Wildlife System and what you're looking at is a five acre field and one acre of it I plant in just a smorgasbord of food plot seed and from rack exploder sunflower seeds Perennial, which has clover and alfalfa and other stuff in it. It's a mixture. And then over here I have uh, woodland forage. And then today I just put in another quarter acre food plot. And that's going to have wildlife turnips and groundhog radish in it. And what I want to do is just show you how the process in which we use in order to put in a food plot. Now bear in mind, we start planting them in May, that's when we plant the perennial. In June, we'll put uh, two of them in, which was the rack exploder and the sunflower seeds. And then late, mid to late June is when I put in the woodland forage. And now this is the second week of July, and I've implemented the fifth portion of this food plot. So, And then not to mention we have a little corn as well. Uh, not a lot, but it's enough to just tease them and let them get a taste of it. So. But this is how we implement a food plot, and it's proved effective for year number two. Check it out. Okay, what we do, what I do first is all in May, we'll bring the big tractor and the big disc out here, and we'll disc up the entire five acre field. Now, obviously, you're going to get some growth back. So, when the time comes to plant, then what we'll do is we'll go through and we'll mow the section that we're going to plant. Now, some people like to add fertilizer, some people don't. In this, in this particular spot, I did add fertilizer and some nitro and just to help the growth, and that's, that was planted last year, so just, in, just gives you a better nutrients in that ground. So, but the next thing we want to do after we put some fertilizer down, and then what we'll do is we'll disc up that field uh, again, but at five inches to get that, that ground a good turning. And, from there what we'll do is we'll, we'll plant the seed and then we'll disc it one more time at a one inch depth. Alright as you can see I've got the next quarter acre uh, up, disced up and ready to be planted and we got groundhog radish which this is a quarter acre bag so we're going to use half of that to plant half of that and then the other one is wildlife turnips and it's again another quarter acre bag and the other half will be planted with this so each of these take about 50 to 60 days to mature in the meantime they just hammer the greens as you can probably see that's woodland forage up there corn and then the sunflower seeds are over there rack exploder alfalfa and uh, so we're going to add to the buffet and get this stuff planted That's the nice thing about resealable bags is now I can close these up and when we do the next section in another week, I'll uh, use this stuff up. It won't go bad. Okay, once we have mowed, we've tilled that five inch depth, we've planted the seed, and what we're gonna do is go through and at one inch depth, I'll turn it one more time and that buries that seed just enough into the ground so that we can get a good setting, good foundation for the seed. And within about five to seven days, we'll start to see some of that sprouting up out of the ground. <clears throat> okay, we've gone through every single portion of how we put in a food plot and we'll repeat that cycle. I have three five acre fields and we'll do the same process in all three fields. And at the end, it, it just it keeps a, a cycle of good green growth. And come fall, when they've ate all the, the greens, they're gonna start digging at those turnips and stuff inside the ground. I'm Kevin Cox with Elite Predator TV and that's how we do it.